Welcome to Overland Expo West here. We are here in uh, Flagstaff. If you guys have not seen us, have you guys check us out at Instagram or on YouTube at Dirt Complex. We're here with our innovative trail swing. We make this thing here in the U.S. It is 100% made in America. We're very proud of that. So a couple key features that separate us from the rest. Full chrome molly tubing. These are fully CNC mandrel bent arms. These are fully CNC robotic welded. These are fully CNC laser cut. So like I said, we do assemble these things here. And if you're looking for a spare tire carrier with a lot of options to add your fuel packs, your uh, tables that we sell through Front Runner, this is the unit for you. So all these units also come with a data plate, which is a stainless steel data plate that is serial numbered, keeps track of the quality, and we're very proud of that. Well, a couple of our key features here is we have a full frame license plate frame. This is great. So when you want to adjust the uh, license plate out, depending on what size tire you have, it's a 3 16 plate with a light uh, to make it street legal. So once you figure out dimensions on that, you can uh, lock it out. We offer this adjustable auto catch here, which is a stainless steel piece that's bolt on. And uh, um, this is a one inch bolt that has oil embedded brass bushings in here so you, they never wear out the actual hard parts they'll actually just wear out the brass bushings now to order to open it a couple cool features with this is the safety pin and the handle are in one spot so you pull the pin just right here you pull the pin and then the leverage right here within seconds you could swing away this tire carrier and uh the lanyard says duracom has a bottle opener on it you would easily open the handle and then this right here will swing away. So if you're wondering what all of our accessory holes are for, they're actually made for anything you want to add to it, including a backup camera, which is real popular. So you see all these accessory holes we've mounted them to, but it's also Morse code and spells out Dircom USA. So that's kind of something fun that we had with, and we thought you guys would enjoy that. So the tire mount itself is actually adjustable. Yeah, they have one on. They have ones on what's the call it on Amazon? Yeah, for like sixty five dollars. Yeah. But you have to you have to build the bracket. Well, all you have to do is is, is get, you could have got two uh, pieces of uh, angle uh, mm -hmm. metal. Uh, pretty much takes care of any vehicle that you want to put this on, and we do make it in a right and a left, and we make the heavy duty version in a right and a left. So if you're running a thirty five or larger, actually anything over thirty five would be on the HD models, and if you have a thirty five or under, then typically the trail swing standard would be just fine. So another cool feature we offer because everyone's units are different that this adjustable rest pad which is what you can see how this is made it actually is adjustable so you can mount the arm and so when you're driving down the highway the unit is resting on the arm not just on the hinge point so if you look at the angle here of the departure angle we increase this about 30 percent up with our patented wedge design so it gives you kind of the ultimate trail swing that you can buy on the market so if you guys have noticed, some of our laser cuts are made in America. We have our flag that we on there because everything we do is made in America. So the flag I'm talking about is right there. So to show you how simple this is to operate, one hand operation, safety pin in, and you're done. So, and the most important thing is one of our other patents is our wedge design here for the anti-wobble. So you can see how it bolts from the back. We put our safety pin in first, which this is a demo, so it doesn't have it, but you put the pin in first, and then you go ahead and you tighten this up, and you are done. If you want to step to this trailer behind me, I'll show you how this thing is solid inside the unit, and this will not move at all. So if you guys are interested, check us out at dirtcomusa.com, or at, like I said, on YouTube, or at Instagram at Dirt Complex. This is AJ. This is the real AJ. All right, so now it's time to cook some hot dogs. So if you notice, my vehicle is at the Dirt Complex booth over at Overland Expo West 2022. Now, I just want to quickly talk about my involvement with Dirt Complex. Back in February of 2021, I went to go check them out because I was in the market for a tire carrier that would swing bikes out. Now, I was going to purchase a competitor's tire carrier. 
And the main reason I did not move forward with it is because of the impact it would have on my departure angle. My Honda Passport did not have a three and a half inch lift kit at the time. It only had a two inch lift kit. And I was really concerned that I'd be scraping on the hitch. Another reason why I was interested in the Dirt Complex trail swing is because of the build quality. And I'll be honest, at the time I did not know what chromoly tubing was. Um, Initially, I kind of didn't care. I just wanted a tire carrier that would swing out some bikes. You just take this pin out, you do all the one hand, just go like that, and then this whole thing is just now going to swing out, right? It's going to auto stop, like right here. Click. This product does more than just carry a tire. You can mount a drop down table to it, carry extra fuel packs, swing away some bikes, and carry a trash bag all at the same time. It's very versatile. It does more than just carry a tire. It really improves overland life. This right here, this whole system replaces so much gear that I would uh, have to carry inside my rig if I didn't have this tire carrier. So chromoly tubing is about twice the strength of malt steel. Uh, there's a lot of properties that just make it such a great choice for a tire carrier. Uh, it's just really tricky on um, how you weld it. So uh, you can't weld it like malt still. So they have a special process for that. Uh, that's why this tire carrier can't be easily copied. And another thing too is I uh, back over to the involvement with uh, Dirt Complex. After doing all nine miles of the Fins and Things Trail, doing north and south, which is very extreme for an all-wheel drive, um, they were impressed and they offered me a sponsorship. I don't just accept a sponsorship from anybody. Uh, all three of my sponsors, and yes, I only have three, all of them have reached out to me. I don't go asking. I will not accept a sponsorship from a company that I do not believe in. I'm gonna have to throw this bike in here. Thank God there's no one parked next to me right now. Otherwise, this would be challenging. Okay, gonna need two hands. Yep, so uh, for the people that um, are considering a different type of tire carrier, I highly recommend the one that swings out. Uh, they have the type that kind of drop down like this, and it's just a longer process, right? It's going to take two hands, um, and actually all the other tire carriers, most of them, um, are two-hand operation. This one is true one hand. I carried a spare tire in a cargo carrier that was on top of my roof for two years. It was very convenient because uh, I didn't have anything in the way from opening up my hatch. So I think it's going to be very important for you all to purchase something that is convenient. Just remember just having to daily drive your rig and open up that hatch multiple times a day. If it's going to be a process, that is going to suck. And I guarantee you that you would be willing to spend the extra money to make opening and closing your hatch easier. Another neat thing too is, let me show you. So AJ, he is an automotive designer. He uh, put this feature in. So see that little rubber stopper thing? When you have a, a swing accessory hitch, this is called the accessory hitch because you could swing things away. You know, when you hook, us, hook something up to it, it's gonna cause, uh, you know, there's gonna be more weight on this whole thing and it might lead to more uh, resonance. There you go, resonance. So that's a little feature added to it. And you could add these washers to adjust the height. The nice thing too is um, because of that, it kind of holds it in place just enough so that you could more easily hook up, secure your tire carrier. So I'm 
luck and win for AJ. He has a fourth generation Toyota 4Runner, and that has the uh, V8, the 4.7 liter V8. And a lot of people would pass by the booth and point to it, and uh, you know they're just amazed at how many miles uh, that engine has. That engine has a really good reputation. So we're driving back over to California. We're gonna stop by the Cajon Pass. We're gonna pull over and do a little off-roading. I don't have as, as much flux as AJ, so I'm just going to go straight, and then I'm going to cut. Then I'll cut right here. There we go. <laughs> Left is easier. Driver's easier. Woo! Oh, you're high centered. <laughs> I think you would have been okay over here. Can you back up? <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You got it. Yeah, the other side's better. Oh, yeah, you're good. <laughs> Um, you're, I don't know, I think if you just back up and a little bit more momentum, I think you should be good. Okay. But yeah, you might high center. <laughs> but hey, you have rock sliders, you're fine. Just go back straight, don't turn. Oh, you got it. <laughs> you got a bike on the back, dude, that's funny. There you go. Stop stopping, just keep going. I know, I just, I just don't want to like smash my drive shaft. But this thing has a, has a gearing for it. Alright, yeah, you're good. You're good. It's about to touch. Is that my rock slider? Yeah, it's your rock slider on the right side. Okay. And, oh! Yeah, you're good. Did its job. Yeah, it definitely did its job. Oh, and your bike cleared. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's see how many miles are we at now? Five more to go. Five more miles to go. So we're randomly pulled over off of the 15 freeway trying to get uh, half a million miles on AJ's fourth gen V8 4Runner on dirt. It has to be on dirt. So we're going to be just meandering through. Nice. Looks like we got people at the other side. One second, AJ. It's a little tricky uh, obstacle for me. Let me just turn on my modes. There's a big hole in the middle. 
Yeah, I know, and my wheelbase, uh, my, my track width is kind of wide. We're trying not to get it in this way. We're trying not to get it crossed up. Congratulations, man. I need to get a, my camera up there and every, to take a little a video clip of your odometer. So here it is, it's official. AJ's Forerunner has hit half a million miles. That's so cool. Congratulations. Thanks. It's, um, yeah. <laughs> Half a million miles right there. Oh man. That's awesome. I can't believe it actually did it. <laughs> on a uh, on a kind of a failing axle too. Yeah. The boots ripped I off. Mean, I, I have an extra axle in the back seat just in case, but what what's amazing is the first big trip I took this on was to Moab and on the highway I have a video on, on YouTube my alternator broke. So I looked up the closest auto zone and we just beat, you know, we went right to it. I didn't even think about where it was or where I was going. I was like, that's the closest one. That's where I'll go. So I barely made it and um, changed the alternator in the parking lot. So that was before the trail swing, before, before you know, dirt com, before I really committed to starting that company. And what's crazy is, we were in Flagstaff for Overland Expo, and I went to an AutoZone to get an axle just in case this one broke. And we both, went, as we pulled into the parking lot, we we're like, wait a minute, this is the AutoZone. <laughs> it was the AutoZone in Flagstaff where this all started, and we just happened to be there this over the weekend. weekend. Wow. Like, what are, the, what are the chances? The weekend that I hit 500,000 miles, I happen to be back at the auto zone where I changed the alternator in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, awesome. Awesome stuff, man. Yeah, that kind of, that was a long story, but. No, no, that's a good story. It's, uh... it's only two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 